Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we're sitting inside Dora so we can get out of the wind a little bit. Hopefully the audio will be clear while I'm out of the car doing this because I got a, two things that I'm gonna do to Miss Dora today and hopefully help you guys out too. And one of them actually begins right here. And the other one is on the back. So we're gonna be putting in a new passenger cup holder into the center console on the back side and putting in a new tag light housing um, assembly on the back because I have one that the clip broke and you know it's plastic so it happens and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to swap that stuff out and honestly I don't think we're gonna need any tools so I guess let's roll that intro and dive into it. Now this is gonna work for fifth generation uh, Ford Explorers 2013 to 2019. And what I have here in this little bag, it's really hard to see, but it is, oof, what part number? This is the license lamp unit. And it should, let me pull it out of here so you guys can actually see it. Oof, here we go. That's all it is. It's nice, brand new. The bulb will go in there, which we have LEDs thanks to Oxito. If you guys want some Oxito LED lighting, check down in the description below because you guys can save 15% off using promo code ArcticVet. And these have a certified part on there, a CAPA certified.org. And the part number A63, I guess that's not the part number, but that's the, uh, their serial number. All right, so back here, you can see that I have one dangling and we're just gonna pop that guy out because that plastic clip right there broke on me. So, we're gonna pull that out, turn our bulb, and it should come out nice and easy there. Perfect. Then we're going to put this one in. Feel it lock in there. And of course, when you got two hands, it's a little easier, so. Hang on a second. All right, there we go. Now we got that in. So we're gonna put that back side in and then we should hear it click in there. I believe that it did. And you know what, this one is 32. So there's just a little tab right there. Just push it down. We're gonna crack this open. pull that out and there's dirt inside there so I'm gonna clean that up and make it look nice and clean again <laughs> but let's go inside the car all right so the next thing is this cup holder and we have one right here in my hands we're gonna be replacing that finally this thing they broke super early because you know they like to put their feet here kick it step on it and everything and you know it's just it's all right it's the life of having kids running up in and out of the car that's what they're for but we don't always like them to get destroyed so what we're gonna do is this whole piece is going to pop off of here but as you can see you might need a little pry bar so I'm gonna use this to try and get in behind there which you could could pop this up look over here on this side and you could use it to then stick it down right inside of there 
gives a little pry. Just like that, and then come over to this side. You can kind of feel where it's at. Just pry it down. Then set that back down. Now, you can see there's a gap. And we should be able to pull it back. We're just gonna go straight back, just like that. Now you wanna be careful because we do have two plugs. So we're gonna disconnect those two plugs. There's one. And this will be number two if we can get it. Gotta be smarter than the plug. Gotta, gotta push right there, just like that. Bam, now it's free. And it appears that we do, in fact, need some tools. These are gonna be torque bits. Let me go find the right one and then we'll get this guy swapped out with our brand new one. All right, so these are a Torx 15, so a T15, and there are four. There's one there, one here one right there and another one right there I've got two of them out so far and I'm able to get them out with this neat little set that I got so this little guy I believe I got it Pittsburgh so that should be O'Reilly's I believe so we're gonna have to take those out and then we'll pull that piece out and put the new one in yeah all right, let me get these guys out real quick. All right, so we've got those out, but there's one last thing. There is a little tab right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. You have to pull that back and then pull this out. So now it's out with the old and in with the new. Let's make sure we got that facing right. It is. And we're going to stick it right down in there. Push that tab up on there. Everything lines up. Let's go ahead and screw in those screws. And look at that. We will have ourselves a beautiful cup holder again. Woohoo! I've been waiting for this day, guys. Waiting for it. Let's go. Haha, -ha, there we have it. A beautiful cup holder. It kind of looks like a face, eyeballs, and nose. Rawr, hello there. Let me hold your cup. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and plug our plugs back in. So, we'll grab this gray plug here. And it is the T, and so it'll fit the T of the 12 volt outlet. And then this one. The clip goes up top. You may not have all of those. You might. You may even have more plugs than I have. So, I think instead of clipping in the top, we clip the bottom. Yep, see the bottom has little hooks. You gotta make sure you get those in. And then, just like that, that beauty is in place and we've got a lovely lovely cup holder and no more of doing this kind of thing because that's you know that's exactly what broke it so there we go they're like ooh, playing with it kind of thing man that's beautiful yes and it is a lot cleaner looking black than the other maybe if i clean this up put a little spit shine to it it'll be better but hey it's a family car, man. It's not a show car. I'm just happy to have that back. There's one more thing on the interior that I would like to fix, and that happens to be this. This is broken, but you have to buy the whole thing. So this piece is just kind of wedged in there, wedged in there right now, holding in place on its own, and that's totally fine. So we've got the back fixed. We've got the cup holder fixed. I hope that that helped you guys out. If it did, smash the thumbs up. Before we leave, I've got something special because I want you guys to know that I have more videos coming for the Explorer and I actually have some parts right here that I cannot wait to put on. And these aren't specific to the Ford Explorer at all, but I know that they'll fit. 
So if you guys know, this Explorer, Dora the Explorer, she has a two to three inch um, lift kit, which technically is just like a leveling kit. And that is on Dora right now. Well, what that comes with is a bracket for your sway bar. And that means that you can use your stock sway bar with it. Well, mine, uh, mm, I did it wrong. I made a mistake and I broke the brackets and I've just left them on. They've been okay, but they started clicking lately. So I went out and I bought adjustable sway bar links. I figured out the measurements and I bought adjustable sway bar links. Now, essentially you want anywhere from a 310 millimeter to up to 360 millimeter range with the adjustable sway bar link. So that's exactly what I bought. And I found these guys from uh, Super Pro is the brand Super Pro Su Suspension Parts. That's where we got them. They had these, I ordered them and I cannot wait to put them on, but I need it to be just a little bit nicer outside because, well, I don't have a garage to work in. So ah, that means I gotta have to lift the car up just a little bit, get those things loosened, get them out. Uh, essentially what I'll do is I'll take my wheel off, then I'll put them on. So look forward to a video of that coming soon. In the meantime, I have one last thing in store and it involves right over there, our trailer. Well, let's go over there real quick. All right, here we go. This is the last touch. We're gonna put the Arctic Vet decal right there and this is glow in the dark, so that's gonna be super cool. And again, we have Craig's K&K &K Sales LLC in South Hutchinson, Kansas. This is where we got the trailer. You guys check out that video and let's get this put on here and show you what it looks like there we have it that looks pretty dang good I'd say man I can't wait to see this thing light up at night anyways if you guys enjoyed that video smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button and we will catch you all in another video have a great night God bless <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got to fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ